Ah, this is M Dog. So today we're gonna be talking a little bit about creating and joining a Starbound server. Now, if you have a lot of experience with creating servers for PC games, then uh, you know way more than I do. Let's be honest. I'm I'm really creating this video for um, those of us out there that uh, don't know as much about this process. And with Starbound in, t in particular, there's a couple of spots where uh, you can certainly get tripped up. So, uh, as I've found, as I've been trying to learn how to do this through this process in trying to figure out how to create a server, and then more importantly, kind of what the trickier part was in trying to learn how to join that server and then have other people join that server. Um, so that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Uh, hopefully we'll do some more Starbound content here shortly in the future, um, but I felt like this was sort of the first thing to get out there was just to walk through at least what I've had to do to get this to work. Okay, so let's talk about the first step here. What you want to do is you, find, you want to find wherever your Steam games are kept. The folder in your computer. So for me, it's actually under my D drive, and if I go to um, local disk D down to program files and then we got to find Steam and then we go to Steam apps and then you go to common and then you go down to Starbound okay so I went that through that pretty quickly if you're not familiar with finding your directory where your Steam apps are um, just pause the video and, and kind of walk through that step and find out where it is for you. For By default, it's probably going to be attached to your C drive. Now, I intentionally put it on my D drive for reasons we won't get into here, but um, that's what you need to find. And once you're in Starbound, you're, you're, um, what you're looking for is this config file. And, and notice what type of file it is. It says config. I think I've actually renamed mine and, and, and not even on purpose. I mean, I think initially this was called maybe Starbound config or uh, starbound.config or something like that but the point is is it's it's the config file in the main starbound folder now it used to be in the assets folder okay but in the most recent patch or most couple recent patches it's now in the main folder under starbound what you're looking for is this config file okay now I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna edit with notepad plus plus now I've tried to do this with regular notepad and though I think it's probably feasible to go that way I found it much easier to just to go grab Notepad++ and, and then uh, go at it from here. Now there are a lot of things you can do on this page and this is sort of the critical page, the config file for Starbound. The one thing you want to notice, and, and here, let me just speak, speak about forwarding your port here. I'm not going to get into forwarding your port on this video. If you are like me, and don't have a lot of experience even with forwarding ports YouTube is your friend and there are a lot of resources in general about forwarding ports that will not be hard for you to find uh, what I'm trying to do here is to make specific content for starbound issues um, not something general about forwarding ports but if you have questions about that let me know because I can point you in the direction of some pretty good resources on forwarding your ports but you notice here that the game port for starbound is 21025 but what we're lo really looking for is the server password okay now if you'll see here a server name there is a server name currently attached in the config files default a starbound server now you can ignore that for now that's sort of I think gonna be used in uh, future content updates the server name may become more important but for right now you don't have to worry about that what you're looking for is server passwords so right now I have it the password set as just password now obviously I've done that for this video that's not really the password you would want to use uh, so don't go change your password to password because then it's not going to be very secure you'll notice the first time you come in here however that there will be a comma and two other passwords listed so not only whatever password you put in here and it may start blank just with two quotation marks nothing in between them but then there will be two more passwords out here and those are common passwords 
those are by default going to be attached to your server. You want to delete those because if you leave them, then anyone would be able to join your server just by putting in one of the two default passwords. So what you should have left in this box is exactly what I have. Whatever password you've chosen to use, typed out right here in between the quotation marks, and no other commas inside these brackets or anything like that. And then, of course, you just go and you save, which I don't need to save because it was already saved. Okay, so we'll close that out, close out our directory folder, and we're back to Starbound, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do is launch Starbound server. Now, if you're not familiar with games like Minecraft or other games where you actually are hosting a server from your PC, which I'm, I about have very little experience with doing that in any game. So all this starting a server, launching my server stuff, kind of seems weird. Like, what am I doing? Well, this is what we're doing. We're, this little box pops up. It's like a, what is it called? A CMD um, command box, basically. And it is going through the commands to start the server. Now, the last thing you'll see here is it says, shutting down world alpha due to inactivity. Well, no one's on the world. So that's fine. That's what you're looking for. It has now, the server has now, is now running. And so anyone that has the information can now join. So you can either just throw that onto your second monitor if you've got one like I do, or minimize it, whatever you want to do there. Now, let's go into Starbound, and we're going to launch Starbound down here. Chucklefish comes up and laughs at us. All right. We're interested in doing multiplayer. Oh, my camera's in the way. Let me fix that. All right. We're going to do multiplayer. So we, we've now got our server running. Now it's just a matter of joining. Okay. We're going to choose what character we're using. MDog Jr. Sounds good. All right. So you've got your IP address. And you see I've got that. I've got some lettering, a title here over top my IP address. But this is where, this top one's where you put your IP address. So, and again, this kind of like port forwarding. If you need help figuring out what your IP address is, Google is your friend. I mean, let me know if you have questions, but uh, that is something where there are plenty of resources available. Server password. Password. Now, that's not going to be your password. That shouldn't be my password. It's just the password we're using for this video. I'll change it back to the normal password as soon as we're done with this video. But you put in the password. Now, here is the final and very important step. Remember I told you that server account or server name is, is something for future release. It's, it's not currently being used. Well, that is true. But apparently the software is running into an error because of this field being blank uh, or not having been interacted with or something. Look, it's beyond my pay grade. I don't understand it. But this is what you have to do. If we just hit join server right now, it's going to tell me invalid password. I guarantee it. Okay? This is what you have to do. You have to click on server account. Hit that space bar one time. It clears it. Now you're good to go. Okay? Joins the server every time. Space bar. Clear out the, the text that was in there and just make it blank. And now we're playing Starbound. Works every time. And not only can I join, but you know, my buddy can join. Other people could join. It, it's how it works. So, I hope this has been helpful. I guess the keys are A, finding your config file and getting your password set up. Now, there may be other settings that you need to adjust or look at. In my case, I think that was kind of the only thing I had to do to really just get my server up and running. So A, get your password in there, set up correctly, and delete the common passwords that are also in there. Just have your one password. And B, once you get the server started, remembering to put your IP address, the server password down below, and in that middle box, just hitting spacebar. Clicking in there and then hitting spacebar. And that should get you going. And if your friend or your friends follow those same steps, they put your IP address, which by the way, you give them your public IP address, and 
there are great sites out there that you can go to that will just immediately say, hey, here's your public IP, IP address. Give your friends that and give your friends the server password and they do the same thing. On that box in the middle, they just click in there, spacebar, join server, shouldn't have a problem. Leave me any comments if you have questions about anything we've gone over in this video. If you've had different experiences, I mean, I'm, this has just been my experience with, with creating the server here for Starbound. If yours has been somewhat different, um, you know, let me know. But, um, now I wanna show you Starbound. But that's not fair, because that's not what this video is about, right? All right. We'll get some Starbound content in here soon. But uh, thanks for watching. This has been MDog, and I, and I hope in some way this has been helpful to you.